everyone, Magic Lover recording for the MTG Noob. Uh, playing a little Legacy one-on-one -on -one in the practice queues, and this is not... Sadly, if that were a forest, I'd keep it, but, um... Yeah, I just can't count on it. Um... So I'll mulligan that. Meh. Yeah. Not terribly exciting, but but keepable. I have added uh, four windswept heaths to this, just to uh, help smooth out some of the mana draws. Because sometimes I do get a little hosed, and also um, help out with Sylvan Library and being able to, you know, shuffle away. So let's see. I mean, unfortunately, you know, Moat and Opalescence are kind of a uh, uh, non-combo together, so uh, I'll be seeing what which develops here if I get a, a preponderance of... Hmm, getting therapied, suity names. Uh, but, you know, if I get a lot of... Maybe an O-ring coming out or something. I'll I'll throw up a lessons and try and beat down. And then if he <laughs> pretty good call based on what I played so far. And you know might just try to beat down with all lessons, but uh, not sure what I'm up against. But I'm you know maybe Nick fit. We'll see. I guess I'm glad that wasn't a forest and then a uh, veteran explorer. Um, unfortunately, this hasn't developed. I was hoping to not just draw two lands in a row. Hopefully this isn't a Veteran Explorer and then a Cabal Therapist. Uh, stripping, what's he probably going to go for here? Viscerous here, I wonder if I'm facing Zombardment. The Zombie Goblin Bombardment base deck. We'll see if that fetches a red source. Third land in a row. I think we could we could do without drawing a land next turn, be nice. No. Looking more like looking more Nick Fittish than I don't think too many lists of Zimbarb and play Dryad Arbor, but could be wrong. <laughs> Not quite Bubble Hulk, but good enough. Yeah, for those unaware, Protean Hulk. Um, well, it, it can do some pretty ugly things in terms of comboing off. So he's going to go get you know any number of creature cards. Converted six or less. And put them on the battlefield. F6 at this point, let him go through the motions. Since I believe this is a an immediate kill. I can't remember if he has to attack or not. Well we'll see.
Yep. Revel arc, body double, protein hulk. He's pretty much gonna mog Fanaticus to death. Um, so, yeah. We will not make him go through the motions. Instead, we'll focus on... Oh, and there is the Sanctity. Well, nope. so that's what happens when you draw three lands in a row on a weak keep. So, we are going to want Norn. We do not need rings. We do need... No, that's right, he's not casting it. Um, we do need ley lines. And what isn't as important? Actually, we keep the one moat in there. Opalescence, not as needed here. We're going to win through Sacred Mesa. <coughs> so yeah, basically the package we're bringing in is we want to either mull to a Sanctity or a Void, both of which disrupt him pretty well. So we'll give that a shot. We would like to play first. Oh! Huh. Well, how you doing? We'll start with both. He will probably cry and concede. We will not mulligan. I'm very curious as to what it, uh, Hulk Lark's combo plan B is. Heck, he could sack this for a forest and play Reverend Silence or something and sweep enchantments, who knows. in there for one. I'm going to hold that second ley line just in case he does find a way to deal with it. this for an, uh, a planes just to thin a little. But optimally we will draw either a crop rotation or a uh, <coughs> excuse me a crop rotation or a Sarah Sanctum and drop Norn. And then I have a feeling that'll be a, a pretty quick game. Since he'll have to answer Norn and the double A line. So I think we're in pretty good position here, we'll see. I mean, who knows? 
was I could drop Norn and he could have a, you know, an immediate go for the throat or something for it. We shall see. Progenitus. Not a bad plan B. Hmm. So he's going to get a first crack. Then if I... Uh, it's a bummer. Do need that moat. It is interesting that if I draw a land source, I do get to race him one turn, will it? Let's see, is it 17? That would drop that down to 8, yeah. Unfortunate. I had to do this the hard way. Because if I had pulled a moat or an enlightened tutor here. Gonna shut that down and shut off his combo. Hmm. Yep, that's a win. So that's a pretty good plan B for it. We got natural order in there anyway. Thought we were in good shape, but uh, well, tables turn pretty quickly, so hats off to him. I'm glad I didn't see Moat as that next card. That would have frosted me. Oh well. Thanks for watching.